OK, uh, so let's continue some other uh, commonly used uh, vector, da vector data analysis. Uh, the first one is called clip. Uh, so clip may look like um, they intersect, but the difference is that it, extract, it extracts input feature that overlays a clip feature. However, the attribute of the clip feature will not be maintained in this output. OK, so the attribute will not be passed to this output. So the intersect, the attribute from both input feature will be saved in this output. However, by using clip, uh, we only have the, in, the attribute table attribute of the input feature. So we don't have the attribute of the clip feature. Erase is more like the opposite um, uh, process of the clip. So erase means that we have input feature and we have erase feature. So the output will that will contain output that not overlapped with this erase feature. OK, so those are also sometimes might be useful in your uh, study. So you can think about that in what scenarios you, you may want to use clip or erase. OK, so let's see some examples uh, of erase and also clip. So let's remove the intersected. And let's have our uh, buffers back. And also let's have our uh, Virginia and also Ver uh, Maryland merge back. Um, Let's say go to analysis, see if clip and also erase are in those uh, toolbox window. And looks like we do have the clip and we don't have the erase. OK, let's let's try clip first. Let's say the input feature, let's use the state. And also uh, for the clip, let's use the buffer. OK, and let's see how that look like. OK, uh, so now we have this clipped feature. Uh, so let's uncheck the state and also buffers. Let's look at the OK. So those are clipped features. So we can see we only kept the overlapped part. And now let's look at the attribute table. And we can see that it only maintains the input feature. So it does not have the buffers, information of the buffers. Uh, let's also try the erase. So since erase is not in this toolbox, let's click tools. And here, let's just type erase. OK, so the first one is erase. And similarly, let's put the input feature as a merge. Uh, erase feature is a buffer. OK, and let's say merge erase. OK, so uh, when you have more features, so it it will be very easy to get confused at which should be input and also which should be the target. So that is very important that you, you give it the appropriate uh, name for the output feature each time you're running the, the, the analysis. OK, so now let's run it. OK, uh, so now we have this erase feature. So let's just uncheck the clip feature and see here we have the erase feature. So that is we kept input feature that not overlapped with the erase feature. And if you look at the attribute, so we only have the attribute from the input data. So those are the populations uh, for each single state. OK, so finally, so uh, another very commonly used uh, spatial analysis is, is called split. So it will split input with overlying features to create a subset of the output feature. So for example, here you have an input feature, probably that is land use or something like that. And you have split feature are different zones. So for example, different zones belong to different persons. And you can split this input feature based on different zones. And the output will be each single individual zones, OK, separate zones. So that is called split. Spatial drawing is also another very useful feature. So it will draw an attribute from one feature to another based on the spatial relationship. So 
Uh, we have the drawing that we can join table with non-spatial relationship. A spatial drawing is that based on a spatial uh, relationship. So for example, you have input feature. And where you have several points. OK. And the target feature and also joint attributes of the joint feature will be returned to this output features. OK. So for example, uh, this polygon is the target feature. and the final output will tell you that, for example, how many points do you have? So you have three points. Oh, the aggregated result of those attributes of those uh, join features will also be in this target feature. Okay, uh, so here let's try the spatial join. And you can try the split on your own, but I'm not going to do that because that requires a huge amount of running time. Uh, so here let's just I'm going to show the spatial drawing, which is also very frequently used uh, spatial analysis. Uh, so here we can find spatial drawing in the tool window. So let me click spatial drawing. So here I'm using the V uh, Maryland merged shape file that is going to join the mass shootings, so number of events that number of uh, mass shootings in 2019. So here my target will be uh, the uh, those two states, and I'm going to join the mass shootings. Okay, and and also here I can select so is that uh, a one to one or one to many? So I this definitely uh, I I just choose one to one. And here uh, I'm going to select. So here I'm going to select. Okay, so for uh, for the date, I'm not going to use that. For the state, I'm not going to use that. And also county, I'm not going to use that. Address, I'm not going to use that. Uh, for the user that has been killed, I will mirror aggregate the total. And also for the user being injured, I will also mirror the total. OK, so that is spatial drawing. And the match method, I will choose intersect. intersect. OK, and let's run it. OK, after about like three or five minutes, so now we have this result. OK, so that is the spatial drawing result. And let's open the attribute table. And here we can see that there's some uh, new field that's being added to so the joint account. So that means that in Maryland, uh, there are 21 instances. So there are 21 points that have been joined. In Virginia, there are 10 instances. However, in Virginia, uh, there are 21 people being killed in total. And also in Maryland, there are 12 people being killed. And they are. Uh, 85 people being injured in total in Maryland and also in Virginia there is only 41 people injured. Okay, uh, so that is a spatial drawing. Again, we are not going to try the split because that requires a huge of running time.